As the 2024 Formula One season unfolds, all eyes are on Lando Norris and his quest for the championship. After years of near misses and relentless dedication, Norris has emerged as a formidable contender propelled by McLaren's remarkable resurgence. Through this video, we're going to delve into Norris's journey, the pivotal moments of the season, and whether he has what it takes to clinch the 2024 Formula One Championship. But before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to see more videos like this. Lando Norris, born on November 13, 1999 in Bristol, United Kingdom, has been a rising star in the world of motorsports from a young age. Norris and his older brother Oliver began competing in karting races. The Norris boys enjoyed the backing of their father, Adam Norris, a director at financial services company Hargreaves Lansdowne, who later set up his own investment company. In 2016, he was estimated to have a wealth of over £200 million. So the money wasn't an issue for the young Norris. Starting his racing career in karting, Norris quickly showcased his exceptional talent, winning several championships. He progressed through the ranks, excelling in series like the MSA Formula Championship and the FIA Formula 3 European Championship before making his way to Formula 2. Norris was appointed as McLaren's test and reserve driver at the age of 17. An impressive performance for the team in testing at the Hunger Roaring in 2017 earned him the position in place of the team's outgoing driver, 2009 world champion Jensen Button. Norris moved up to Formula 2 in 2018 and continued testing for McLaren. The team gave him his first run in an official practice session during the Belgian Grand Prix weekend. That was followed by two further outings in practice sessions at the Belgian and Italian Grand Prix. His performances convinced the team to offer him a place in their driver lineup for 2019 as part of an all-new pairing of Norris and Carlos Sainz Jr. The disruptions of coronavirus made Norris one of the stars of Formula One in 2020 when his online streaming became a hit with motorsport fans deprived of racing during the early months of the pandemic. When the F1 season eventually restarted, he immediately saw on-track success by taking his first Formula One podium finish in Austria. Norris's third season racing for McLaren featured four podium finishes and a pole position. He made qualifier three 12 times in a row, with his run finally ending at the start of September on F1's first visit to Zandvoort since 1985. However, the elusive first win remained out of reach until the 2024 season. After struggling in the early part of the 2023 season, the team introduced significant upgrades that transformed their performance. By the end of 2023, McLaren was regularly competing for podiums, and this momentum carried into 2024. The McLaren MCL38, with its improved aerodynamics and power unit, became one of the fastest cars on the grid. The 2024 season has marked a significant turnaround for McLaren. Technical upgrades and strategic changes have propelled the team to the forefront of the competition. Norris, benefiting from a much improved car, has consistently performed at a high level, securing multiple podiums and his first race victory in the Miami Grand Prix. The newfound pace of McLaren has positioned Norris as a serious contender for the championship. The Hungarian Grand Prix in 2024 was a pivotal moment for Norris. He started the race from pole position, but was overtaken by his teammate Oscar Piastri and Max Verstappen at the start. During the race, McLaren's strategy saw Norris emerge ahead of Piastri after the pit stops. However, team orders instructed Norris to let Piastri pass, which he reluctantly did on lap 68. This decision allowed Piastri to secure his first Grand Prix win, while Norris finished second. The decision, aimed at maximizing the team's overall points haul, sparked debates and affected Norris's standing in the championship. While he publicly supported the team's decision, his post-race reactions suggested frustration. Mentally, the incident was challenging, as Norris had to balance his competitive instincts with team loyalty. Championship-wise, the points lost by finishing second instead of first could be crucial in the tight battle with Verstappen. As the season progresses, the championship battle between Norris and Max Verstappen has intensified. 
Lando Norris delivered an impressive performance at the Belgian Grand Prix last weekend, securing a strong qualifying position that placed him on the front row of the grid. After the Belgian Grand Prix, Norris is only 78 points behind Verstappen. Statistically, Norris faces a challenge in overtaking Verstappen for the 2024 championship. As of now, Verstappen leads the standings with multiple wins, while Norris trails by a significant margin. However, with McLaren's improved performance and Norris's consistency, the gap is not untouchable. As we all saw during this season, the RB20 is not the fastest car in the grid. Key races where McLaren's strengths align with the circuit characteristics will be critical for Norris to close the gap. Among all these competitiveness, Red Bull has felt the pressure of the competition more and more. Champion looks all the more at the other cars. And then, an opening was discovered in the brake cladding on the McLaren, which shouldn't have been there. Red Bull was suspected of McLaren possibly creating an additional cooling channel that would not be allowed. This was fueled by the fact that the challenger in Miami, Emola and Barcelona beat Red Bull in a discipline in which the defending champion previously seemed unbeatable. The older the tires, the faster the McLaren. Before that, it was always the other way around. The FIA allows the teams in the free training sessions on Friday to mount sensors in the brake drums to collect data. From Saturday, the holes must either disappear or be covered. Red Bull suspected that an additional cooling mechanism was being created against the regulations by keeping the holes open, prompting them to complain. But the holes were reportedly covered again by tape for the Austrian and British GPs. Looking ahead, Norris's future in Formula One appears bright. He has a long-term contract with McLaren and the team's upward trajectory suggests more opportunities for wins and championships. If McLaren continues to develop competitive cars, Norris could become a regular title contender even if he is unable to clinch the championship in 2024 and with the right machinery, he has the potential to become a Formula One champion in the upcoming seasons. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more updates and analyses from the world of Formula One. See you next time.